गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन दी प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट वॉयलेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन राइट्स एंड इन दी नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दी रिड्रेसल सिस्टम विच हैज बीन डिजाइन बाय आर गवर्नमेंट टू प्रोवाइड दी रेमेडी और टू सॉल्व दी ग्रीवेंसेस ऑफ पीपल और सिटीजन्स हु हैव फेस सर्टेन वॉयलेशन ऑफ देयर ह्यूमन राइट्स सो देयर आर वेरियस मेथड्स various organizations where various entities which are responsible for the redressal of violation of human rights so to name a few there is a judiciary system then there is national human rights commission and then there are various other statutory commissions designed specially for a specific group who take care of violation of uh, human rights of those particular groups only so we'll start with the um, redressal system that is uh, this judiciary system is consist of uh, supreme court and high court then i talked about nhrc that is national human right commission and then state human right commission every state also has a human right commission and then these are special uh, category commissions which are uh, framed by government to take care of specific categories so first we'll discuss about the judiciary system article 32 of our constitution provides for remedy for enforcement of rights it is in itself a fundamental right which we discussed in unit 1 also uh, the fundamental right which provides us the constitutional remedy it has it has been given in article 32 so the provisions of this article are number 1 the right to move to supreme court by appropriate proceeding for enforcement of the rights in other cases uh, we are not allowed to go directly to the supreme court but if in case our fundamental rights are violated a person can directly go to supreme court directly appeal to the supreme court then the supreme court shall have power to issue directions or orders or writs for the enforcement of any of the rights and supreme court has full power to issue uh, some written directions or orders for enforcement of the rights of human beings or citizens then the third one without prejudice to the powers conferred on the supreme court by clause 1 and 2 1 and 2 which we just discussed parliament may by law empower any other court to exercise within the local limits of its jurisdiction all or any of the powers exercisable by the supreme court under clause 2 so uh, by this clause it says parliament also has a power other than supreme court uh parliament can by using their power can uh, designate one court to exercise uh, these powers or to solve uh, cases of violation of human rights but that would be within the local jurisdiction that is the jurisdiction covered by that particular court jurisdiction means area right and in that case uh, all the powers which have been given to supreme court in clause 2 these one so these powers will be given to that court also then the last one the right guaranteed by this article shall not be suspended except as otherwise provided for by this constitution in no circumstances other than provided in the constitution this article will be suspended it means this article will be provided or given to each and every one without any conditions the only way or the only situation in which this article can be suspended should be as per the norms as per the points as per the clause given in the constitution then article 226 it is also related to the uh, judiciary apart from article 32 every high court shall have power to issue to any person or authority within its territories direction for the enforcement of right if a person do not want to go to supreme court they can appeal the high courts of their state also in that situation high court also has same power to issue a, uh, such orders to the concerned authorities to enforce those rights then these power may also be exercised by any high court of territories within which the cause of action wholly or in part arises even though the seat of such government or authority or the residence of such person is not within those territory the place where this case can be filed is decided by the place of action right wherever that action has taken place completely or in part in that particular territory the case can be filed 
it means in the high court of that particular state or that particular territory that case will be filed whatever the um, place of residence of that individual could be suppose a person who is residing in uh, faridabad some uh, violation of rights occurs in delhi so in that case it is the choice of that person he can also uh, file a case in faridabad as well as in delhi because the action has taken place in delhi so he can file the case in delhi as well then where any party against whom an order is made against an appeal without furnishing to such party copies of petition and documents in support of the plea for such order giving such party an opportunity of being heard uh in whomsoever uh, concern that case has been filed that appeal has been filed in that scenario the copy of petition the petition which the um, which that uh, sufferer that person has filed that copy of petition should be given to the party against whom the orders have to be made right so that he or she should also be given an opportunity to be heard because it is not necessary that a person who is filing a case will be true will be transparent will be honest maybe that claim could be a fake claim also so it is the responsibility of the court to check the genuinity and uh, to give the opportunity to the person against whom the complaint has been received right so in this case um, if such copy has not been provided to the other party in that case that party can make an application to the high court for the break of such order that the norms the procedure has not been followed and he can file an application in the high court and furnish a copy of such application to the party in whose favor such order has been made high court shall dispose of the application within a period of 2 weeks from the date on which it is received so in this scenario now it is the duty of high court to answer to that application within 2 weeks after receiving that application and if the application is not disposed of the order shall on the expiry of that period stand vacated so if in case high court does not take any action within that time period of 2 weeks in that scenario whatever action whatever order has been passed by the high court that order will be disposed of that uh, order will be uh, will stand cancel then lastly the power conferred on a high court by this article shall not be in derogation little worth derogation means little worth less value of the power conferred on the supreme court by article 32 no doubt supreme court is higher in rank in comparison to high court but the, this doesn't mean that high court has less power or less value in comparison to supreme court as uh, given in article 32 so basically uh, what are the differences between article 32 and 226 article 32 is uh, only for supreme court and article 226 is for high courts it means uh, if we file case in high court that will come under article 226 and if we file case in supreme court that will come under article 32 then secondly supreme court is only meant for the violation of fundamental rights only so if fundamental rights are violated in that case we can go only to the supreme court we cannot approach uh, sorry uh, we can approach other courts also but in case of other rights being heard we cannot approach supreme court so whatever uh, other rights other than the fundamental rights are violated in that scenario we have to uh, follow article 226 and we have to approach high court only so article 32 which i told you difference between article 32 and 226 article 32 can be invoked only for enforcement of fundamental right no other rights but in case of article 226 that can be invoked not only for enforcement of fundamental right but also for any other purpose as well any other legal right will be enforced through article 226 for fundamental right only article 32 and for fundamental and other rights article 226 now measures of supreme court to promote access to justice what steps supreme court has taken so that uh, justice could be promoted at a larger scale and to everybody so first is loosening of traditional rules certain rules have been uh, have made uh, lenient so that everybody can take help or take justice from the court 
like for example the traditional uh, rule of locus standi locus standi means right to move to supreme court is only available to those whose fundamental rights has been violated has been changed by the supreme court right so earlier the traditional rule was ki uh, the case where fundamental rights have been violated they those people were only allowed to move to supreme court only no other place was there for them but now the court permit the public welfare oriented persons to file a writ petition for the enforcement of constitutional and statutory rights of any other person or group of person if that person or group is not available uh, is not able to appeal to the jurisdiction of high court due to poverty or any other social and economic liability so what does this mean suppose a person due to uh, lack of knowledge or due to um, support due to lack of financial assistance or whatever may be the reason is not able to file a case for his or her violation of rights in that scenario some other person some other institution or some other uh, ngo maybe they can file a case on behalf of that person whose rights have been violated earlier it was only meant for the person whose right are violated they can only file a case in the court but now on their behalf some other person can also file a case this change has been uh, brought about by the supreme court so this kind of a policy is known as public interest litigation means litigation in the interest of a public uh, group or maybe some individual right then relaxing procedure and rules court has made procedures and rules easy in comparison to the earlier ones so that anyone can approach the court for justice so that an uneducated uh, a poor person who belongs to a backward class whomsoever he or she may be now rules are so easy that anyone can approach court for justice so that justice could be not be denied because of certain lack of resources or because of lack of uh, knowledge or education or so so that was all about uh, the judiciary part nhrc will discuss in next uh, video till then have a good day